Welcome to another exciting episode of Beyond Borders on CDTV. I am Caleb Kuda. If you watched last week's episode, you would know we've touched down in Namibia after weeks of being in the UK. Now we are in the land of the brave Namibia. It's still our very first day here and we are heading to our hotel to prepare for an incredible safari experience. My first impression of the town though, it's quite empty. I mean, we've been driving and you know, I can count the number of vehicles that have driven past us, but the roads are good. And check out the road markings, my word. A lot of times when couples come, 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 come yes, there they and they are not in good talking terms, uh -huh. by the moment they come from bad experience. They will be doing this! Yeah. 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 It's such a vast land, it looks like the entire country is some wildlife safari experience already right so um sit back and enjoy this and oh yeah the capital city is called vintuk it's quite clean much much better than what i left behind in ghana and um <laughs> we're on our way to the hotel to check in and then prepare for the safari trip so brace up let's go land of the brave We've had a 45 minute drive from the airport to uh, Little Forest Garden Retreat. It's a very beautiful place. We drove through town, breathtaking stuff. But we're just going to uh, offload our luggage, freshen up, you know, get something to eat, and then show you Africa's hidden gem magic. This smells different, right? <laughs> And we are at the Okapuka Safari Lodge in Namibia. Uh, Hello, sir. How are you doing? Fantastic. I'm also well. Thank you. Good to see you. <laughs> the land of the brave. The land of the brave, indeed. Thank you. So, 
there's one uh, safari right over there, Land Cruiser. There's another one here I will be joining. So, um, yeah, here you go. Okay. Oka Puka Safari Lodge Game Drive Activity. My name is JP, yeah? Ah. Jacob Paulus, that's what it means. Ah. Yeah, lady likes selfies. I want to take a selfie with a rhino. Please, they are wild, eh? We always consider your safety first. Okay, let's start moving. Ghana? Yeah, Ghana. Ah, you know Asamoah Gian? Yeah, man. <laughs> I like him so much. Yeah? I like him so much. Do you get the sense that traveling across Africa is more expensive? And more difficult. Why? Travel, flying in Africa is a luxury. Mm. Whereas in Europe, it's a, sort of a basic need. Mm. People do business across. Yes. Yeah, uh, borders. Yeah. The European Union, they move around freely. Here in Africa, everything is contrarian. Yeah, so Those who are moving freely have created artificial borders for us. Yes. <laughs> attempts to hide its head in the sand when the rest of its body is, is visible. That's what they're laughing. Oh my word. It's a tiger. Right. What a tragedy to have your eyes bigger than your brains. Yeah. Wow, this is cynic. It's a lovely view. Oh, some of them are running. Those are spring boxes. Okay. Yeah, you have lots of spring boxes. How did you guys get here? Because <laughs> there's not a lot of um, people that travel from Ghana coming this side. Oh, is that so? Yeah. This is the first time you're driving tourists from Ghana? First, first time. Wow. I've had guests from Lesotho. Right. I've helped out with guests from Lesotho. And also guests from... Um, Swaziland okay. and a delegation from South Africa too. So this is the first time you're having Ghanaian tourists in it's your kind of lodge. I see. Wow. That's interesting. What's unique about this lodge? Woohoo! It's so steep. <laughs> what does pro bono mean? Free. Oh free. Yeah. Okay. Put in low four. Low four. Yeah. Oh my goodness. My goodness. So our vehicle has encountered an issue as we attempt to climb a steep short hill can i help you yeah 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 okay and uh rudy who is our tour guide he offers to um help us out because really 
um no one wants to get stuck in the middle of a safari right <laughs> i mean absolutely not my mother is waiting for me to return home oh uh, man It's in low four already. Good thing is finally Rudy saves the day and the adventure continues. Manager takes over. <laughs> we have to catch up now. Yes, we have. Oh, that's huge. It extends beyond this mountain. Wow. But I'll try to. Okay. 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 The sky is always beautiful against the background of the hills and yeah. the dry lands and all. Okay. So we are catching up with our with our friends who have already taken the lead. How old is this lodge? They said it was opened in 96. 96? Yeah, it was opened in 96. But we took over mm -hmm. this last year. Oh, right. Ah, no, this year, April. Okay. When oh. I say we, I mean Gondwana. Gondwana, right. Gondwana took over in April. Okay. So originally, whose was it? It belongs to a German couple called Flaffers. They live up there. Oh, I see. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? I think it's a spring book. Yeah, it's a spring book. It's gone this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's more coming. Oh, there he comes. My word, there's another. Woohoo! Amazing. It's so pretty. It's a spring box, yeah? Spring box. You said that's how they stop what? Sorry? You said that's how they stop what? No, no, I said this is a spring box. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. So, what more are we likely to see? Um, Impala. Impala, okay. Um, Watch your box. What about? Right. You have zebras, yeah. You have zebras? Yeah. Wow. So this place was originally owned by a German couple. Yeah, they, they still own it. They still own yeah, it? Yeah, they're leasing okay. it us, to us. They live up there. Oh, I it see. used to be a hunting farm. Wow. Yeah, and then um, Gondwana took over. So we, our company is all about conservation. Okay. So we, we don't do any, any, yeah. any game. I think Gondwana has presence in Ghana. I've seen it. Oh well. We don't do any, any hunting on the farm. Oh, I see. So it's just viewing of game. Interesting. Various, like you say, 14 species of game. 14 species 14 of game. I see. Germany still has a lot of control in Namibia, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A yeah. lot of businesses, German owned. That's correct, yeah. And, and a lot of people are still speak German. Yeah. Mm. So you speak German too? No. Jacob Jansky. Okay, Jacob Jansky. Oh, I'll be waiting for it. I think there's some Impala there. Oh, yeah, an Impala. That's, that's okay, it looks like a deer, right? What is that? Which one? Okay. It's quite an Impala. It's Impala. Oh, no, the house. Oh, the house, that's the oh, oh, uh, landlord's house. What? Yeah. Yeah. So this lot does not belong to the state. It belongs to an individual. The landlord, JP, and the rest of the crew. The owner of the... The lodge. Wow. Oh, the, the lodge. <laughs> the owner of the lodge's house. Um, you're looking at this antelope. Antelope, it's a family. Don't get confused there. Eh? When we are talking about antelope, antelope, it's a family where you find spring folk, impalas, kudu, elan. They are all called antelope. But they have got specific names. These are what we call impalas. But in Namibia, I've got two types of impalas. We have got a common impala that you would like to find in the central part to the southern because their roots are in South Africa. That's where they migrated from. We call them common impalas. That's a species we are looking at now. If you move around the northern part of Namibia and you go a bit uh, northeast, Caprivi, Kavango, you find the black face impala. Impala like these ones, but they have got black face. <laughs>
time they are waking up, they have to drink water first before they start uh, looking for grass. It's okay there. Okay, we need to be silent eh, because that guy sometimes he getting stressed. When he is stressed, he might put the stress on me by bumping my vehicle, which is dangerous to you as well. So we need to respect them, then they will respect us. Okay. So that's uh, they are quite nice front of us. You can have got enough view. Yeah, there's a water hole. That's why I came to stand here because I know they're coming there. So you see what's happening. The king drink first. He see if the water is safe for his family. He's a brave man. So we call them white rhinos. We call them white rhinos, but that's not the correct name. Eh? There was a mistake. Somebody translated from Dutch to English. He just said white rhino, like a white color, instead of wide mouth rhino. That's where the name comes from. White rhino, but that's not the correct name. It's wide mouth rhino. Bright mouth nazone. That's how they call it, yes. That's where the name comes from. Second largest land mammal after the elephant, whereby they might weigh about three tons of fully grown up male. That's 3,000 kilograms. They live about 45 to 50 years lifespan. Gestation period, sorry, 45 to 50 years. Gestation period, 16 months, one baby at a time. They are grazers only. Unlike the black rhinos that are browsers. This one have got a flat mouth, a square shape. That's why some people call them square-lipped rhino. Because they've got square lips that's for grazing. Take a look at their eyes. You see they've got little eyes spotted side wide of the face. That they mean poor vision. They might not see really well, but with hearing and smearing, they're very good. That's why I'm saying let's not give them unusual sounds. They might uh, feel irritated. They are less aggressive, naturally. Black rhinos are more aggressive, but they respond to our reaction towards them. But naturally, before they attack, they might give you warning signs. Alongside the eyes. You see what is he doing? Like sharpening the horns on the street. That's also some of the signs. Because his family is drinking, you see where he came to stand? Between us and the baby. Just to make sure he's safe. They are safe. Okay, uh, the longer we stand closer to them, the longer he get, or the more he get annoyed. So you see what is he doing? That's what I told you. Marking territory, spitting urine on top. I'm just telling you, yeah? So we need to move backward. No, no, your, your, your sound, please. Your sound. So the rhino has chased you before? As we did. And he made this uh, sign, but with the other cars blocking us, ah. so we couldn't move out. Then he charged. My goodness, what did you do? I, I, I froze. I froze. <laughs> Yo! And then? Nothing. Just turned back. No! That was a warning. That was a warning. Yeah. It was a mock Incredible. charge. Incredible. Yeah. Uh, mock charge. Mock charge. Yeah. To say if I'm coming to kill you, this is how. Ah! <laughs> Right there. Wow! There were other cars that were in the area that day. So yeah, that blocked move, you. Yeah. But they were trying to move. You know, yeah. how we need to Everyone got that yeah, panic yeah, yeah. signal. Interesting. But it was interesting. The guests slumped. Ah. <laughs> I did it. I was terrified. I can imagine. Yeah. Those who have their cameras would have a good time. Yeah. Snapping. Took a nice video. Yeah. I like the landscape though. Yeah. It looks nice. So this is beyond borders on City TV. <laughs> yep. What a safari ride through 
the uh, Kapuka. 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 Uh, okay, we just saw the Yes, we just saw some rhinos. Four. Hmm. Four of them. One is a little baby. Yes. And their father was trying to mark his territory. It was getting dangerous, so we decided to take off. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Make peace on me. <laughs> he was telling me that he's been chased before. Yes. The, the, the rhino charged the head. Oh, okay, so he's pushing the younger males away yeah, so he can act, he have access to the female ones. Only him. Yeah. But can he do all that work? Yeah, yeah. So if we have a quota for hunting, this is the guy who's going out first. Oh, okay. He's had his chance. He's had his chance, right? Boss, you hear? Share the link. <laughs> if you don't share the link, they will hunt you. Watch out for the trees, guys. Look at those guys! Watch out the trees! Look at the skies! And the mountains! Yeah, you were saying. Yeah, I was, I was trying to ask in comparison to Molly, which one do you think will be bigger? No, I think Molly will have more species. But there's way bigger. Yeah. Way Land bigger. mass, they have it. Yes. But the gun species, they have more species. Molly has more species. Molly has. Great time on Beyond Borders today in Namibia at Kapuka Lodge. My name is Caleb. He's a manager here. Yes. Thank you so much. Yes, we did. I yes. can certify we had a good time. Absolutely. Way of a good time. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Keep watching City TV. My name is Caleb Kudan.